Let me show you how you can know if you've ovulated and if your luteal phase is actually stable enough. So if your egg would have been fertilized with sperm, it would stick around and you would stay pregnant. So I will explain this to you using BBT charts. BBT stands for basal body temperature. And in this first chart, look at the lower slightly wobbly line of temperatures before ovulation. And then notice there's a little dip and right after then you can see the clear rise in temperature that stays higher than all the temperatures before. Now that dip is often the ovulation dip and the jump afterwards is your progesterone really kicking in. Now for most of you, you want to see at least about a 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 Celsius degrees rise and that should be staying up for the rest of the luteal phase. Ideally it goes a little bit further up. Now we want three days of higher temperatures in a row. This is usually enough to confirm that ovulation has happened and then we want a steady elevated line that tells us progesterone is doing its job. Now this means it can keep the uterine lining warm, thick and really cozy for that potential little embryo you are producing there. Now in the second chart I'm popping up you can still see the post ovulation rise but then instead of staying high and stable the temperature just drops back down far too early before the next period is actually due and that's what we call a luteal phase defect. Even if an egg had been fertilized by sperm that month the chances of that pregnancy being sustained would be very low because that early temperature drop usually means progesterone is failing too soon. And progesterone is your hormone that holds the lining in place and signals here we can stay implanted and stay pregnant. But when that drops, then the lining starts to break down and your body moves towards a next bleed. And the tiny embryo just can't stay attached and gets flushed out. And this is why charting isn't just about now did I ovulate, but also I can tell is my luteal phase warm and long enough to hold my pregnancy. Your basal body temperature gives us a beautiful window into that and if you're one of the women where the temperature drops too early and you see oh, damn it my progesterone is too low and how can I fix this now then come and join my fertility circle and I show you in a step-by-step -step roadmap how to actually fix that.